And then the chills and tingles flooded my body. And I saw an image of my father standing in the ocean up to his waist, holding this blue canvas raft that he had when we were kids. Now, my dad was a Navy SEAL. He was a NASA engineer. He used to teach kids how to swim. And I'm getting raft. And then I got it. I got it. He was teaching me how to recognize signs from spirits, accept it as real, feel it without overthinking it, and trust in the message. So, mm -hmm. and, and my parents walked me through it, okay? Um, I knew when I was getting the tingles, okay, I was recognizing a sign from the spirits. When I saw the coins, I accepted it as real. When I heard Sixth Sense and then saw the vision of my father, I felt it without overthinking it because it's the third step. Feeling without ever, oh, this is just a coincidence. Yeah, it's just a couple coins. Oh, that's just a memory of my dad. That's where people go wrong. They begin to hyper now analyze and they create a block and then trust the message. And so the raft technique can be applied not just to incidents like that, but if you have a dream. And, and you know the difference between a dream and a visitation because when you have connection with a loved one in a dream, it feels real. You know, you wake up and go, God, that was really mom talking to me. And you can use raft to interpret that. I've talked to many um, near-death experiencers and, and said that in the wake of your NDE, you can apply raft to help you understand the messages that you receive during your NDE for people who didn't necessarily have an NDE, but were part of somebody else's, meaning a shared death experience, you can apply it there as well. So the RAF technique um, has been employed by a lot of people since, since I went public with it to help them recognize, accept, feel, and trust.